If you're wondering what the focal point of Doug McCallum's State of the City address is, there's a big blue and white clue parked right out front. You may have noticed the squad car parked out in the plaza. This is a glimpse of what we have planned for the look of Surrey police. McCallum is pushing forward with his biggest campaign promise, replacing the Surrey RCMP with a municipal police force in two years. And he's doing it whether his critics like it or not. What we are doing requires political courage. There is no question that the policing transition is a political minefield. We know the mayor is committed to the transition, and now we know what the department's police cars might look like. But some are wondering if the police car is putting the cart before the horse. I was a little disappointed, uh, I guess, when he showed the police car and showed the badge on the uniform. I think our first job before we go that far is we need to be able to tell the people of Surrey why switching forces is going to make them feel safer. That's because everything else about the Surrey PD, how much it will cost, staffing levels, you name it, is a mystery. Those details are all included in a report that's not quite finished yet. It will be given to our city um, probably this week and um, we will put it before council um, um, and let them have a look at it um, next week and then we'll send it over to the province. This is where things get contentious. Some members of council say the public should know what's in the report before it's sent to Victoria for approval. I think everyone in the city of Surrey has the right to know how is it going to make them feel safer and at what cost. But McCallum is content to move ahead. I have been described as one, someone who likes to shake things up. A big shakeup is coming to Surrey in the form of a new police force. That's clear. But when it comes to all other details about the new Surrey PD, you'll have to wait and see. Jesse Johnston, CBC News, Surrey.